What's up guys? Creek Diggers coming to you Saturday morning. I'm out here at the new dump that I haven't even shown anybody yet except for my paying members. But I'm back out here today. I don't know if it's gonna take more than a day to dig this out. It's a, looks like a little home, side, home site dump on the side of a river bank. Um, but let me flip you around and show you what's going on. I found on this here. the other day, just walking the side of the river, doing some uh, exploring with buddy uh, Russ and JC. They had already gone back to the truck. And you can see there's a variety of ages in here. From what I'm looking at, looks like about 1930s. There's some salt, there's some um, crock pieces and some earlier stuff in there. Maybe back to about 1910, 1915 era. There's some corkers. There's a cool little shoehorn. There's a coca-cola i believe 23 a couple milks so it looks like this mound right here you can see even some burn barrels and stuff stuffed under the bank there and going on up the hill there's terracotta pipe there's jars and it does go over a decent amount to about right there so i'm thinking from about right there all the way over let me just glass everywhere under my feet probably to about this area here maybe even a little further down I'm not sure, but Wayne's here with me. He's up on the hill trying to find some mushrooms real quick before we get started. I've never even dug in this place yet. I invited Russ out, but he said he was gonna pass. Gonna have a little treat here in a little bit, I believe. One of my very first subscribers and the very first bottle I ever sold was purchased by this person. So they'll be out here a little bit later, I think, and they're going to participate in the dig with us. That's going to be pretty interesting. But I'm going to start in this general area, maybe even poke a test hole up in there. Kind of want to see what kind of depth we're looking at. It looks nice and mounded up right there. Hopefully there's some good stuff in here. You never do know. There's only one way to find out. <clears throat> so we're going to start messing around and see what we can find. Stay tuned for the action. There's Wayne way up on the hill there. I <laughs> see you back. All right, guys, Wayne's a little bit further over. I didn't even think the dump went this far over, but it may be even bigger than what I first thought. And he just got over here. He says he's already got a marble showing. That a way to start the day off. Yeah, buddy. Just a white yep. one? Yep, just, just white. I'd say Laying like gamer top. marble probably. Gamer marble for the Wayne right off the bat. Yeah, that's a pretty piece of pottery, isn't it? Yeah. Look at the crazing going on. That's probably 19, 10, 15 era. 20, something like that. You gonna mess around right here? Well, now I wanna go up and get my shovel. So there's where I'm at. So if that's the case, guys, then all of this could possibly be dump as well. This is ash right here. That is ash, yeah. All right, so we're gonna make some test holes and uh, see what we can find. Looks like some decently aged stuff coming out. Right, guys, see I there. hit bottom about three, maybe three and a half down and there's a nice little burn layer. So I'm working my way up the bank, you can see here. And first thing I just popped out, which I didn't get on video, but there it is, Dr. Miles Medical Company. Looks to be a early machine made cork top style. Looks like, I'd say probably 1920s, late 1920s on that one, maybe mid 20s. And then right in here, check it out. I believe I have a green gooded Melampi's in the hole, let's see. Oh, baby, there it is. Yes, sir, Bob Henry. This one just says Goodings on both, both sides of it. Out of Cumberland, Maryland, you can see there. Maybe 34, I believe, on that one, 34. It does have a patent date of 1925 on there. If I can find it, here it is. Bottle patented November 10th, 1925. This one looks like date code from Owen Illinois Glass Company, 34. 
So there you go, two full bottles out of the ground so far at the new dump. Oh. Yeah. I'm sorry, two whole bottles, my fault. Not full, two whole bottles out of the new dump already, guys. Awesome. <laughs> See you guys. Lane just popped out a beautiful, deep, deep amethyst. Dude, I don't know what the heck that was. Yeah, holding it up to Almost the Almost like polished pond. Real, real, real dark purple. That's nice. And then I'm pretty sure I just popped out a poison under here, guys. You can see, I'm only working about two and a half feet down. Here's here's some of the other stuff I pulled out. Wayne just pulled out that little knife. Real nice little knife. Pulled out some really pretty uranium shards here. Little shot glass. Here's a piece of... Uh, vast or uh what's it called carnival glass yep. carnival glass look at the colors on that thing basket weave pattern popped out a presto supreme mason in the back of it says manufactured by owen illinois glass company and i'm pretty sure i got the, the uh, lid to go with it with the glass seal in there i got a little copper plate which i don't think anything's on it but Definitely gonna take it home and clean it up better and make sure. A couple of meds. Beautiful piece of pink. Real light pink depression glass there. You can see all the ants running around. A Medford brand mustard jar. And I'm pretty sure right here I just popped the poison out, guys. Yeah, right there, look at that. Vapo Cresoline. Patented 1894. Nice. That's a smaller one too from the Owen Illinois Glass Company. Vapo Cresoline. Nice. Heck yeah. We'll take her. Sweet little poison bottle out of the new dump. Love it. See All you right, guys. I've been digging for a while now. You can see I got my hole pretty wide. I haven't quite, I'm just right off bottom, about two and a half, three feet. And it looks like I have a soda bottle in the hole right there. Go ahead and just work around it for a minute. Looks like it could possibly be all there. Feels like it could possibly be all there. Here it comes. It is all there. What is it? It's a Melamphy. Nice. Heck yeah. Melamphy bottling works. All full of stuff. <laughs> it's whole and full. See that? They're half full anyway. That's a pretty one. I think that's the green variation. Green. If I'm not mistaken, that's the yeah, that's the green one. That's the only one that has the uh, the contents and everything on the front. Both the ice blue and the aqua have it on the back. The green one's the only one that has it like that. Where's my son at? Yeah, I think that's the green variation there, guys. But that looks good. Real good condition. You can see it's an early machine made. I'd say we're in the early 1920s now anyway. Heck yeah. See you back. Guys, check it out. Blue marble just popped out right there. Let's take it down here in the shade so we can see it a little better. Let's see what we got. Oh, man, that's a pretty one, Wayne blue and white swirl yeah that's a beautiful looking marble there check that out guys i like that one look at that heck yeah we're gonna keep on working at it see you back I think wayne's got a little shoe polish or something in the shovel guys yeah a little machine made, two ounce shoe polish. Yeah, I think that's just, yeah, that's just a and broken soda, broken Berkeley Club. Yeah. Ginger ale. Yep. Yeah. Are you on bottom there? No. 
I think you need to go down just a little bit Well, deeper. I'm trying. See, it? you got to get in that burn layer. That's where all the bottles are at. Yeah, I'm working. It's collapsing. Look at it. Yeah, I'm going to work on up the bank and towards my bag. I got to move everything. My bottles are starting to fall in the hole. Wayne See just that. popped out a square cruet, guys. Look at that. Square vinegar cruet. Real Could fancy, be. too. Might be an ink. No, it ain't an ink. It's definitely a cruet. It says White House vinegar. Does it? Yep. Yeah, it's a different variation. Nice, a square. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think I've got the square. White House White vinegar House. with the pour spout. Nice, heck yeah, guys. All right, keep working at it. Got See a little you pocket, back. guys, and he just popped out this neat little ornate. Oh, look at that. That's like copper and bronze mix. That thing is pretty. Got the gold coins in it to go with uh, it? I hope so, man. At least one. Nope. Dang it. That's cool, though. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Oh, man, it's hard. Nope, I don't see nothing good. Nope. They could have left the jewelry in it. Yeah, least. like a ring or something. That'd have been neat. Yeah. That is pretty, though. That's I don't cool. see nothing. And then, down in here, guys. Right here. A couple bots. I don't know what it is. Screw toss. Some kind of a whiskey, I think. What does that say? Mifflin. Mifflin. I don't know. Mifflin. Soda toss right there. It's moving too much. Yeah. I'd say it's broken. I don't know. Nice full. Yeah, mineral water. Just green. plain old slick green. Green mineral water. Yep, it is. All right, guys. It's like I'm know? in a little ink pocket, guys. Yeah. I just popped out a square ink cork top. And down in here, looks like I got a cone ink. Looks like a cone ink in the hole. Right there. Got a 10 on the base of it. Yeah, clear. Early machine made cork top cone ink. Nice. We gonna keep soda. on working at it. Wayne's got a soda behind me. I got a little green one. Can you see it? Yeah, another green one. See what it is, but probably just another one of them slickers. Yeah, another green mineral water, uh, ginger ale, Clico Club, green Clico yeah. Club. Yep, there you go, Clico Club and the cone ink. See you back, guys. I got a hobble skirt Coca Cola in the hole. Let's get it and see what we got. Patent. Nineteen twenty-three Christmas Coke from Steubenville, Ohio. That's cool. The same place I dug that monster thirty foot privy. Look at that guys. Steubenville, Ohio, Christmas Coca-Cola. Nice. Heck yeah. It's turned out to be a really, really good day. What I'm talking about. Yes. Gonna keep working at it. I think some more awesome stuff's about to come out. See you back. Guys, check it out. <laughs> Wayne is, is helping them get down the bank, making little stairs with the shovel. But we got sister lady, Lori McCutcheon, came out to uh, join us on a dig. Wayne's trying to help her down the hill and her husband, Jim. Got it. You gonna come down? Stepping on a bottle. Yeah, I am. <laughs> There's a bunch of them down through here. Okay, move to that one. Okay. Right here. I'm good. I'm good. A little bit steeper. That means you don't have to.
have to go through all this work. No. My wife. Actually, there's a piece of concrete right there if you can stand on that. Yeah. There we go. Got it? Yeah. No, there's no yep. Okay, so this way? Yeah. I'm gonna switch my foot here. Okay. That's three? <laughs> I got it. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Oh, you're funny. Nice. Very nice. Here's my progress so far, guys. I started over there this morning about 10 o'clock, and I've been digging about three hours now, I guess. Trenched all the way from the bottom to about right here. Uh-oh, and Lori's done ate it. <laughs> yeah, Can you make it? Yeah, I'm gonna get it. Hold on, let me let me get off here and help her. I'll be see you guys right back. <laughs> Guys, they made it down here. Lori and Jim's gonna participate in their first dig with the Crick Diggers. You can see I've got some cool stuff coming out. A couple local sodas, druggist inks, mason jars, lots and lots of broken milk, sauces, crock pieces, uranium glass. Just gonna keep on continuing my trench forward and over. See what else comes out of here. Okay, folks. So there he is, Wayne. Got right down there into the thick of things. He's hoping to find bottles on the bank. Is there glass down there, Wayne? I ain't seeing any. But he, we all thought he was gonna fall into the water because he's right on the edge. We told him he'd have to swim himself out. And there's Trav. He's busy moving his spot over a little bit. And he's gonna find some great bottles yeah, in here. Look at that. that been wow, that would have been like huge. That's a thick one. Now oh, he'll find the other pieces of it. Nice place though. Good place to dig. It was a 10 oh, gallon. 10 gallon. Nice. That was a right there. Nice, nice. So that's it for now. We'll get some more in a little bit. If you wanted to do it. He found a nice Coke that would be great for a drinking glass. But now he's going for some big stuff. Another piece of that big crock. That crock would have been fantastic. Yeah, I've never dug one over three gallons, I think. It's the biggest one I've ever dug out. Complete. There's a little White House vinegar seal with the White House on it and everything. That's cool. This is yellow ware. This is probably the earliest stuff you'll find in dumps and privies, just about. And this is uh, Civil War period stuff, 1860s, 1870s. Still have not found a, a full one yet, or a whole one. But yeah, that's, that's what you're after when you're in these places. One of these days, a full one will come out. Now we got Wayne digging into the side here thinking if he comes up he's going to get some more bottles fancy spoon I just popped up well let's check that out cool <laughs> that's silver uh, plated I think it's copper wow yeah I think it's a copper spoon okay that's cool it is really neat I don't see any markings on it just yet but it's, it looks hammered almost I think it's pretty early. Check it out, guys. Just popped out a little like tool case or knife case. I don't know. It's got a little snap on it. Oh, but nothing in it. No treasures. That's cool, though. 
You don't find those little cases like that very often. A little leather sheath or something. Take it home, clean it up. See that. Guys, I think I got a mason jar in the hole. I'm going to let Lori come down in here and pull it. Can you make it? Yeah, I'm going to. I haven't undercut any of that, so you shouldn't. it shouldn't give way. No. I'm slow, guys. Sorry. That's all right. Oh, wow. It's that deep. Got it? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, that's cool. You should. Here, you wanna put this glove on? Yeah. So you don't cut yourself? That'd be good. I don't. Okay, right under here. Well, not See that high. mason jar right there? Oh, look at that. Oh, there's two of them. There's two of them? I can feel it. Nice. There you go. Look at that. Is there anything on that thing? No. Dang, this is a slick mason jar. Yeah. All right. But there's something else there. You got something else? Oh, there's a bromo that just fell out. See that cobalt one? That's a bromo seltzer. Cool. Nice, Lori. Oh, there's a coffee mug or something. Oh, come on, come on, cool? come on. Oh. oh. Got the handle, but it's got just a little chip missing out of the back of it. That's a bummer. I don't know, cappuccino out of there. <laughs> I know. Oh, look. Oh. Yeah. What is that? That's a little battery core. Yeah, it is. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, uh -oh. oh. Uh oh. Here you go. Bottom of oh, milk. Oh, that one's broken. Oh, uh, yeah. But that one. That's a piece of a crop. That's the other part of that. No, it's not. Maybe it is. Looks like we're coming into oh, a oh, decent oh. little pocket. You got something under there? Another shoe. Yeah, a piece of a leather shoe. A ketchup just fell out. Oh my God, there's tons here. Yeah. What's that? What's that? What is that? Oh, it's a PJ Ritter. Another sauce bottle. You're on the sauces right now. There you go, there's a little druggist bottle. Yep. A little slick druggist. Lori's pulling them out like crazy, guys. Should have come down here earlier. <laughs> oh. oh my god, there's just a bunch, right? Another shoe. Top to mason jars. Yep, shoe. tops to mason shoe. jars. Oh, oh. A spool link. That was a spool link. The top oh. broke off of it. Just right. Oh, there's something right there too. Yeah. Has that got anything embossed on the other side of it by chance? Lots of flap. Oh, okay. Cute though. Yeah, a little hip flask. And then right up under here, I seen something right there. It looks like another ketchup. Yeah. Yeah. Another sauce. Well, what's with them eating all the time? <laughs> You're on Ooh, the sauces. Look. Yeah, there's a Cumberland Brewing oh. with the top knocked off of it. Bummer. Dang it. There you go. He pulled like six or seven bottles. Nice. Oh. Uh-oh. What's that? Oh. oh, big whiskey. Yeah. That's what I need. What? I have no idea what that thing is. Me either. Wow, metal. Yeah. Whatever it is. Some kind of piece of iron. Yeah. Almost looks like a foot, foot That's off it. of a stove or something. Oh, yeah, there. there you go. There's a little, nothing Lemon. on that one either. No. Hey. That's a piece of uh, terracotta pipe. Yep. That's what they use for their sewage. There's a little jar under that pipe, though. You see it sticking out? That's a little screw top med. There's a little jar right there. Go down instead of up. Go down. There you go. You need to drain on it. Oh, it's broke. It's like it's, 1930. It's early plastic. It's, it's called Bakelite. 
It's the earliest form of plastic. Tons of leather. It's still like 1930s. Look at that. Yeah, I know. All shoes. kinds of leather shoes. shoes. I think this somebody that used to live here was a cobbler. I would bet. It worked on all shoes. That. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys. We're going to keep on opening her up. Yeah. Good job, Lori. That was fun. <laughs> nice. All right, guys. See you. All right, back. guys. It's time to go. I got to get home and get ready for the auction tonight. So, here's what I got today. I got a really pretty green Gooding soda from Cumberland. I got a green Melampi soda from Cumberland. Got a Dr. Miles Medical Company. Got a Vapo Cresoline little poison. Whole bunch of pink Vaseline, green uranium, cobalt pieces. All kinds of uh, nice yards, real nice yards. And this one here. I don't know what exactly it was, but beautiful shard I'm gonna hang on to. A couple spoons. Got a, I believe some kind of a pen or pencil. A Thomas, little tiny Thomas insulator. Two spoons. Possibly a token, I'm not sure on that. I gotta do some more cleaning on that one. A little red swizzle stick for stirring up drinks. Hobble skirt coat from Steubenville, Ohio. Cone ink, square ink, a couple slick druggists and meds, and a blue swirl marble. And I ended up with probably about five of these heel script bromos with the uh, lug tops. That's it, guys. Gonna get packed up and get up out of here. Lori, thanks for coming down thanks and for letting spending me the evening with me. Wayne's up there chilling. I don't know where Jim went to. I don't know. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we're going to get out of here. I don't know if I'm going to be digging tomorrow or not because it's my wife's birthday. So I'm going to go ahead and say thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. See you next time, guys. Guys, you remember that copper plate that I dug yesterday? with Wayne. Well, I just cleaned it up and uh, check it out. Look at this thing. Some kind of a press plate, copper press plate. I mean, that's a pretty thick chunk of copper too, but look at it. You can clearly see words on it. I tried to do a rubbing a minute ago, but it didn't come out right. I need to get some more transparent paper, I guess. But yeah, check that out. Isn't that neato? Let me zoom in a little bit here so get a better view. Look at that. Copper press plate. Wonder what that bad boy says. Heck yeah. Back to the photos. See you back.